Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on February 1st, 2021 in Sri Mayapur, India. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Book Compilation Perfect Questions and Perfect Answers Part 2 Continuation Krishna Premik Sarva Shrestha Mukta Mukta Madhe Kanji Mukta Karimani Krishna Prem Jarse Mukta Shiramani Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then inquired out of all liberated persons, who should be accepted as greatest? Ramanandarai replied, He who has for love so he who has love for Krishna has attained the topmost liberation. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. In Srimad Bhagavatam 6.14.5 it is said, O great sage of the many millions of liberated persons. And of the millions who have attained perfection, he who is a devotee of Lord Narayana is very, very rare. Indeed, he is the most perfect and peaceful person. Bhagavan, good. Who are the liberated souls? Ramananda, they who love Krishna's lotus feet and do not love anything else, who delight in bhakti yoga, the yoga devotional service, or the yoga of devotional service, and are not attracted to Ashtanga Yoga or any other kind of yoga, who place their love in the transcendental form of the Lord, form of Lord Krishna, and not in their own external material body, is actually liberated and free from the material world. Non devotees who claim to be liberated are not so. So here Ramana Rai explains how a liberated how a devotee of Krishna so here Ramananda Roy explains how a devotee is actually liberated. If he has love, love of Krishna and he detached from a material body and other forms of yoga. If he has love of Krishna, if he is detached from material body and other things. Other forms of yoga. Other forms of yoga. So Krishna Lila Gani Shuddha Jivatmar Shahoj Dharma Gan Madhe Kon Gan Jiver Nijo Dharma Radha Krishner Premo Keli Jai Giter Marmo Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next asked Ramana Daraya Among many songs, which song is to be considered the actual religion of the living entity? Ramana Daraya replied, That song describing loving affairs of Sri Radha and Krishna is superior to all other songs. Per Parvashya Prabhupada, as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 10.33.36, Lord Krishna descends apparently as a human being and he exhibits his transcendental pastimes in Vrindavan so that the conditioned souls may be attracted to hearing his transcendental activities. Non-devotees are strictly prohibited from participating in songs, celebrating the loving affairs of Radha and Krishna. Unless one is a devotee, it is very dangerous to hear the songs about the pastimes of Radha and Krishna that were written by Jai Dev Goswami, Chandi Das and other exalted devotees. Lord Shiva drank an ocean of poison, but one should not imitate this. One must first become a pure devotee of Lord Krishna. Only then can one enjoy learning the songs of Jai Dev and relish transcendental bliss. If one simply imitates activities of Lord Shiva and drinks poison, one will certainly meet with death. 
The talks between Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Raya are meant for advanced devotees only. Those who are on the mundane platform and who study these talks in order to put forward some thesis for a PhD will not be able to understand them. Instead, these conversations will have a poisonous effect. I saw these discussions between Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Raya. So these discussions between Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Raya are very elevated. Are very elevated. And non devotees cannot appreciate appropriately these discussions. And non devotees cannot properly appropriately appreciate these discussions. And they have a reverse effect. And they have a reverse effect. Because not being devotees and they think of these in terms of material exchanges. Because not being devotees, they may think of these as material exchanges. So, one should first become a devotee, a pure devotee, so they can understand these confidential discussions. So, one should first become a devotee, a pure devotee, and then they can understand these discussions. Bhagavan, it is so. What should be the what should be glorified in song? Ramananda. Krishna's pastimes in Braja. Bhagavan Krishna Bhakta Sangai Jivaner Akmatra Nish Sreya Sreyash Sreyasher Madhekon Sreya Jiver Hai Shar Krishna Bhakta Sangavina Sreya Nahi Then Sri Chitana Mahaprabhu asks out of all auspicious and beneficial activities, which is best for the living entity? Ramananda Rai replied, The only auspicious activity is association with the devotees of Krishna. Purport, Pashila Prabhupada, according to Bhagavatam 11 to 30, we are asking you to tell us what is the most perfect welfare activity. I, th- I think that in this material world, association with devotees, even if, even if it be for a moment, is the greatest treasure house for mankind. How association with devotees is so special and sacred is glorified here. How association with devotees is so special is being glorified here. Because a devotee is so completely absorbed in service to Krishna. Because the devotee is completely absorbed in service to Krishna. But by having you know, moments association with such a devotee and liberate one from the material condition. Having a moment association with such a devotee can liberate one from the material condition. Bhagavan, what is the best thing in the world? Ramananda. Bhagavan means Lord Chaitanya. Bhagavan means Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya. Ramananda, the association of saintly devotees. Krishna Akmatro nitto esmaronio Kahar esmaron jeep Koribe ono khan Krishna nam gun lila Rodhano esmaron Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, What should all living entities constantly remember? Ramandarai replied, The chief objects of remembrance are always the Lord's holy name, qualities, and pastimes. Shri Bhagavatam states, Shri Bhagavatam 2-36 states, Shri concludes, The business of the living entity is to always remember the Supreme Personality of Godhead in every circumstance. The Lord should be heard about, glorified and remembered by all human beings. In the uh, Vedic literature, it tells about Krishna's holy name, his pastimes, and his transcendental qualities. In the Vedas literature, it talks about Krishna's holy name, his qualities, and his transcendental pastimes. So, if we know more about the Lord naturally, our natural affection and love for the Lord awakens. If we know about the Lord naturally, our affection and love for the Lord Awakens. Bhagavan, what should be remembered? Ramananda, Krishna's name. 
राधा कृष्ण पदपद्मय एकम्र धेय धेयर मध्य जीवर करतव्य को ध्यान राधा कृष्ण पदम बुज ध्यान प्रधान श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु फर्दर इंक्वायर्ड आउट ऑफ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ मेडिटेशन व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज श्री रामानंद राय रिप्लाइड द चीफ ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी इज टू मेडिटेट अपॉन द लोटस फीट ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्णा परपर श्री प्रभुपाद श्री भागवतम 1 2 14 स्टेट्स सुखदेव गोस्वामी रिप्लाइड टू द सेज सॉरी सुखदेव गोस्वामी रिप्लाइड टू द सेज इज हेडेड बाय श्रोणका एवरीवन शुड वेरी अटेंटिवली लिसन to the past times of the supreme personality of godhead one should glorify his activities and meditate upon him regularly so this is how one can get liberated from the material world this is how one can get liberated from the material world by hearing the transcendental name all these of past times of the lord by hearing the transcendental name all the deeds in the past times of the lord bhagwan on what should वन मेडिटेट रामानंद कृष्ण स्वीट ब्रजय एकम्र वास्तव्य सर्वत्याजी जीवर कर्तव्य कहबास श्री बृंदावन भूमि जहा नित्य लीला रास श्री चैतन्य महापुर एस्ट वेयर शुड द लिविंग एंटिटी लिव एबैंडनिंग ऑल अदर प्लेसेस रामानंद राय रिप्लाइड He should live in the holy place known as Vrindavan or Vrajabhumi, where the Lord performed His Rasa dance. Or Prabhupada Shri Prabhupada, according to Shri Bhagavatam 10:47-61, Uddhava said, "Let me become one of the one of Vrindavan's herbs and plants that are trampled by the gopis, who gave up all connections with family and friends and decided to worship the lotus feet of Mukunda. Those lotus feet are sought by all great saintly persons." expert in the study of vedic literature so it says that one shall live in a holy place so it says that one should live in a holy place vrindavan vrajabhumi vrindavan vrajabhumi navadip is not different from vrindavan navadip is not different from vrindavan and lord chaitanya stayed in ganapuri which is also ah uh, Chandra place of Lord Krishna. Lord Chaitanya is also Lord Chaitanya stayed in Jagannath Puri, which is also a transcendent place of Lord Krishna. I can't want to stay in Vrindavan, Mathura, Dwarka, Mayapur, Lord uh, Jagannath Puri. Like that, I want to stay in Vrindavan, Dwarka, Mathura, Puri, Mayapur. One of the holy places where the Lord realized His pastime. One of the holy places where where Lord realizes his pastimes. Bhagwan, where should one reside? Ramananda in Vraja. Vraja is the only Shrotubbo. Shrobon Madhya Jibir, Kon Shristo Shrobon, Radha Krishna Premo Keli, Karna Rasa Yon. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, Out of all topics people listen to, which is best for all living entities? Ramana Rai replied hearing about loving affairs between Radha and Krishna is most pleasing to the ear purport according to Bhagavatam 10:33-39 he who faithfully hears about the dealings between Lord Krishna and the gopis in the rasa dance and he who describes these activities attained to the professional stage of devotional service and simultaneously lose material lusty desires a liberated person who hears about the loving affairs of radha and krishna is not inclined to have lusty desires one mundane rogue once said that when the vaishnava chant the name radha radha he simply remembers a barber's wife named radha this is a practical example unless one is liberated he should not try to hear about loving affairs between radha and krishna if one is not liberated and listens to a relation of rasa dance he may remember his own mundane activities and illicit connections with some woman whose name may also be radha in the conditioned state one should not even try to remember such things by practicing the regulatory principles one should rise to the platform of spontaneous attraction for krishna then and only 
then only then should one hear about Radha Krishna Leela. Although these affairs may be very pleasing both to the conditioned and to liberated souls, the conditioned soul should not try to hear them. The talks between Ramananda Raya and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are conducted on the platform of liberation. So, here Prabhupada explains how a mundane person cannot appreciate the transcendental nature of Christ's life of Radha Krishna. So, here Prabhupada explains how a mundane person cannot appreciate the transcendental nature of Radha Krishna's pastime. So, one should try to understand the transcendental nature of Krishna. So, one should try to understand the transcendental nature of Krishna. That's why pastimes are about Krishna in the tenth canto. So, that is why pastimes of Lord Krishna are in the tenth canto. And one reads the first nine cantos to prepare one and to understand that Krishna is completely transcendental. So one reads uh, the first nine cantos to properly understand that Krishna is transcendental. And he has no material nature or material desire. He has no material nature or material desire. Bhagavan, what should make the ear happy? Ramananda, only Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan. Hare Krishna Nami Akmatro Kirtanya Upasher Madhya Kon Upasho Pradhan Sreshto Upasho Jugal Radha Krishna Nam Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, Among all worshipable objects, which is the chief? Ramananda Rai replied, The chief worshipable object is the holy name of Radha and Krishna. The Hare Krishna Mantra. Condition of Bhagavatam. In this material world, the living entity's only business is to accept the path of Bhakti Yoga and chant the holy name of the Lord. The holy name of Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare is chanting the name of Radha and Krishna. The holy name of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare is chanting the name of Radha and Krishna. Hare is Radha. Hare is Radha. Krishna is Krishna. Krishna is Krishna. I want to chant this holy name. I want to chant this holy name. And thus they can get purified. And thus they can get purified. Bhagavan, who should be worshipped there? Ramananda. Sri Sri Radha Krishna are the supreme object of worship. Mumukha o Gubukhar Goti Mukti Bhukti Banche Je Kaha Dohar Goti Isthavar Deho Dev Deho Joyce Avostiti. And what is the destination of those who desire liberation and those who desire sense gratification? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked. Ramananda Rai replied, Those who attempt to merge into the existence of the Supreme Lord will have to accept bodies like those of trees. And those who are overly inclined towards sense gratification will attain the bodies of demigods. Purport, those, who de- those who desire liberation by merging into the existence of God do not desire sense gratification within the material world. On the other hand, they have no information about serving the lotus feet of the Lord. Consequently, they are doomed to stand like trees for many thousands of years. Although trees are living entities, they are not moving. The liberated souls who merges into the existence of the Lord is no better than the trees. Trees also stand in the Lord's existence because material energy and the Lord's energy are the same. Similarly, the Brahman effulgence is also the energy of the Supreme Lord. It is the same whether one remains in the Brahman effulgence or in the material energy, because in neither is there spiritual activity. Better situated are those who desire sense gratification and promotion to the heavenly planets. Such people want to enjoy themselves like denizens of heaven in the gardens of paradise. They at least remain retain their individuality in order to enjoy life. But the impersonists who try to lose the individuality also lose both material and spiritual pleasure. They become just like a stone which is immovable 
and has neither material nor spiritual activity. As far as the hard working karmis are concerned, Srimad Bhavatam states, After performing various sacrificial rituals for elevation to the heavenly planets, the karmis go there and enjoy themselves with the demigods to the extent that they have obtained the results of pious activities. In the Bhagavad Gita 9.20.21, Lord Krishna states, Those who study the Vedas and drink so much juice, seeking the heavenly planets, worship me indirectly. Purified of sinful reactions, they take birth on the pious heavenly planet of Indra, where they enjoy godly delights. When they have thus enjoyed vast heavenly sense pleasure and the results of their pious activities are exhausted, they return to this mortal planet again. Thus, those who seek sense enjoyment by adhering to the principles of the three Vedas achieve only repeated birth and death. Therefore, after finishing the results of pious activities, the karmis return to this planet in the form of rain and they begin their life as grass and plants in the evolutionary process. Well, this explains how living entities who desire to merge into the impersonal arm of the Lord. So this explains how the living entities who want to merge in the impersonal form of the Lord. How those who desire uh, sense gratification. And how those who desire sense gratification. Both are bereft of spiritual bliss. Both are bereft of spiritual bliss. And so it's better to be a devotee. So it's better to be a devotee. And thus reach all the seat of Lord Krishna. And thus reach Lord is Peter Lord Krishna. Shishi Radha Krishna. Shishi Radha Krishna. Jnani o bhakter sadhan vaishishto. Aro sango kak chushe jnani nimbo phale. Rasango ko kilo khai. Prema muko le. Raman Rai continued. Those who are devoid of all transcendental mellows are like the crows that suck the juice from the bitter fruits of the nimba tree of knowledge. Whereas those who enjoy mellows are like the cuckoos who eat the buds of the mango tree of love of Godhead. Purport. The speculative process of empiric philosophy is as bitter as the fruit of the nimba tree. Tasting this fruit is the, first, is the business of c- crows. In other words, the philosophical process of realizing the absolute truth is a process taken up by crow-like men. But the cuckoo-like devotees have very sweet voices with which to chant the holy name of the Lord and taste the sweet fruit of the mango tree of love of Godhead. Such devotees relish sweet mellows with the Lord. How the pastimes of the Lord are relished by the devotees very sweet. The pastimes of the Lord relished by the devotees are very sweet. But the Impersonalist Gana Yogis, they are, they are tasting the, the name fruit. The impersonalist the Gana Yogis, they are tasting the bitter name fruit. And thus, they are compared to crow like men. And thus, they are compared to crow like men. Bhagavan, good, speak on, speak on. Hariwa! 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 Ramananda, within himself, what more can I say to answer the Lord? I do not know what further words I can say that will give him happiness. Reflecting for a moment, he says openly, They who cannot taste sweetness will drink the bitter nimba juice of impersonal liberation. We, however, who know what is sweet, drink the dark, sweet nectar, the amorous gopis, the sweet nectar, the amorous gopis drank through the corners of their eyes. Hariva! Hariva! Abhagya Gani Ashadai Sushko Gyan Krishna Prema Mrito Pan Kare Bhagya Ban Raman Narai concluded The unfortunate empiric philosophers taste a dry process of philosophical knowledge, whereas the devotees regularly drink the nectar of love of Krishna. Therefore, they are the most 
fortunate of all. So, in this age of Kali, so in this age of Kali, we get the special mercy of Lord Chaitanya. So we get the special mercy of Lord Chaitanya. To taste the nectar of love of Krishna. To taste the nectar of love of Krishna. So he has given us good fortune. So he has given us good fortune. His divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, had distributed this mercy of Lord Chaitanya. So His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada, has distributed this mercy of Lord Chaitanya. All over the world. All over the world. Giving good fortune to everyone. Giving good fortune to everyone. Hari Bhav. Hari Bhav. Krishna Katha Lochonai. उबाहे रात्रि जापन ये मोतो दुई जान कृष्ण कथा रचे नित्य गीत रोदोने होइलो रात्रि शेषे दिस वे चतने महाप्रभु एंड रामन राय पास अ होल नाइट रिलिशिंग द मेलोज ऑफ कृष्ण कथा टॉपिक्स अबाउट कृष्णा वाल दे वर चैंटिंग डांसिंग एंड क्राइंग द नाइट एंडेड सो आर चतने रामन राय I spend all night discussing transcendental topics of Krishna. Lord Chaitanya and Ramana Rai would spend the whole night discussing topics of Lord Krishna. They will chant, dance, and cry. They will chant, dance, and cry. In this way, the night passed. And in this way, the night passed. Duhe nijo nijo kaadje choli labi hane. Kale Rayashi Milila Ar Dine. Next morning they both departed to perform their respective duties. But in the evening Ramana Raya returned to meet the Lord again. Porodin Prabhupade Raya Nivedan. Ishtogoshti Krishna Katha Kohi Katokhan Prabhupad Dhari Rai Kore Nivedan. That evening, after discussing the topics of Krishna for some time, Ramana Raya caught hold of the lotus feet of the Lord and spoke as follows. Krishna tatta, Radha tatta, Prema tatta, Shar, Rasha tatta, Lila tatta, Vibhida prakar. There is a variety of transcendental truths. The truth about Krishna, the truth about Radharani, the truth about their loving affairs, the truth about transcendental humors, and the truth about Lord's pastime. Bhagavan, go on speaking like this. Ramananda, I cannot say anything beyond this. What shall I say further? He thinks for a moment and then says openly, Licked by the Chakora birds of the young gopis, making the Lord's footprints shine like crystal studded jewels, and making the Chandrakanta jewels of the gopis' eyes melt into many tears. May that moon light of Lord Krishna's toenails protect you all. Bhagavan, this is poetry. Speak again. Ravananda, reflecting for a moment. Shining as the rising sun, prayed to by the darkness, or as a blossoming red lotus in the Yamuna's water, and eclipsing the goddess of fortune. The Kostuba gem and the Srivatsa mark may Sri Radha's Srivatsa mark may Sri Radha's red lac lotus foot mark on Lord Hari's chest protect us all. Bhagavan, it is like that. Damananda, assuming the role of Srimati Radharani, talking to a gopi friend, he grasps Lord Chaitanya's feet and says, Oh gopi friend, he is my lover and I am his lover. There was no difference between us. The god of love has crushed both our hearts into a powder and made a paste of the nectar of perfect love. I no longer think I am your beloved and you are my beloved. For us, the conception of I and you is now destroyed. Still, I continue to think you are my husband and I am your wife. What could be more surprising than this? Uh, so, uh, this represents the transcendental consciousness of Radharani. So, this represents transcendental consciousness of Srimati Radharani. That is being expressed by Ramananda Rai to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is being expressed by Ramananda Rai to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shuddha Ridaye 
উদয় হেতু প্রভু স প্রকাশ তত্ত্ব এত তত্ত্ব মোর চিত্তে কইলে প্রকাশন ব্রহ্মা কে বেদয় যেন পড়াইল নারায়ণ ইউ হ্যাভ ম্যানিফেস্টেড অল দিস ট্রান্সেন্ডাল ট্রুথ ইন মাই হার্ট দিস ইজ এক্স্যাক্টলি দ্য ওয়ে নারায়ণ এডুকেটেড লর্ড ব্রহ্ম পরপর বসলে প্রভুপাদ দি হার্ট অফ ব্রহ্ম ওয়াজ এনলাইটেন্ড বাই দ্য সুপ্রিম পার্সোনালিটি অফ গড হেড দিস ইজ ভেদিক ইনফরমেশন গিভেন দ্য শ্রোতা স্তর অফ উপনিষদ বিকজ আই ডিজায়ার লিবারেশন let me surrender unto the supreme personality of godhead who first enlightened the brahma in vedic knowledge through the brahma's heart the lord is the original source of all enlightenment and spiritual advancement in this connection one may also refer to shrimad bhagavatam 293035 111413 121319 so although lord chaitanya was asking questions Ramana Rai was giving the answers. So although Lord Chaitanya was asking questions, Ramana Rai was giving answers. Ramana Rai felt that the Lord was giving him the realization Ramana of the truths. Ramana Rai felt that Lord Chaitanya was giving him the realizations, these truths. In his heart. In his heart. He said, Brahma was revealed that he knows by the supreme lord just as brahma was revealed vedic knowledge by supreme lord in his heart in his heart antar jami sharir ei riti hoy bahire na kahe bostu prakasher hridoy ramana rai continued the super soul within everyone's heart speaks not externally but from within he instructs the devotees in all respects and that is his way of instruction purport here shri ramananda roy admits that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is a super soul it is a super soul that inspires the devotee therefore he is the original source of the gayatri mantra which states om bhur bhuvat sava savita is the original source of all intelligence that savita is lord chaitanya mahaprabhu this is confirmed in shri bhagavatam 2422 May the Lord who in the beginning of the creation amplified the potent knowledge of Brahma from within his heart and inspired him with full knowledge of creation and his own self and who appeared to be generated from the mouth of Brahma be pleased with him This was spoken by Shukadev Goswami when he invoked the blessing of the supreme personality of Godhead before delivering Shrimad Bhagavatam to Maharaj Parikshit So by the mercy of the lord as super soul so by the mercy of the lord as super soul he can speak to the mouth of the devotee he can speak to the mouth of the devotee and thus the pure spiritual vibration can be manifested and thus the pure spiritual vibration can be manifested by the body invokes the mercy of the Lord to speak to him. A devotee invokes the mercy of the Lord to speak through him. Satchidali Satchidali Lai Samay Parameshwar Bostor Nirupan Dhan Shrimad Bhagavatam Akir Ak Ak Janma Dasya Jato Anayadi Tarash Oh my Lord, Shri Krishna Son of Vasudev, O all-pervading personality of Godhead, I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. I meditate upon Lord Shri Krishna because He is the absolute truth and the prime evil cause of all causes of the creation, sustenance and destruction of the manifested universes. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations and He, and he is independent because there is no other cause beyond Him. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge unto the heart of Brahmaji, the original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion, as one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen in fire or land seen in water. Only because of him, the material universe is temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Shri Krishna, 
who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode, which is forever free from the illusory representations of the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Purport, Shri Prabhupada, this is the opening invocation of Srimad Bhagavatam 1.1.1. Concept of absolute truth is different from God. The concept of absolute truth is different from God. God means uh, controller. God means controller. Absolute truth is source of everything. Absolute truth means source of everything. That he existed before material world and he exists during his manifestation and exists after the material world is annihilated. That means he existed before the material world, he exists during the manifestation of the material world, and he will exist after the material world is annihilated. He is the source of everything material and spiritual. He is source of everything material and spiritual. So we can meditate upon him and become purified. So we can meditate upon him and become purified. Ramananda Dara Prabhur Nijo Bhakti Siddhanta Prachar Sanchayarja Rama Bhido Bhakta Meghe Sabhakti Siddhanta Racharayam Mritani Gaurabdhi Retoi Ramana Bitirinoi Istog Jutto Ratna Layatang Prajayati Sri Chitane Mahaprabhu, who is known as Goranga, is the ocean of all conclusive knowledge. In devotional service, he empowered Sri Ramananda Raya, who may be likened to a cloud of devotion, to a cloud of devotional service. This cloud was filled with the water of all conclusive purpose of devotional service, and was empowered by the ocean to spread this water over the sea of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Thus, the ocean of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became filled with the jewels of the knowledge of pure devotional service. So this. Chaitanya Charanamrita is considered the uh, special postgraduate study of the Srimad Bhagavatam. So this Chaitanya Charanamrita is considered the special postgraduate study of Srimad Bhagavatam. And I said here all the purports, everything is, is uh, merged together. And I said here all the purports and words or all are merged together into the cloud of Ramananda Rai. Into the cloud of Ramananda Rai. Rain over Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And rain over Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Lord Chaitanya became like an ocean of transcendental knowledge of pure devotional service. So Lord Chaitanya became like the ocean of transcendental devotional service. Thus ends the chapter entitled Perfect Questions, Perfect Answer. Hello. Hello. Do you like our ad free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.